Alright, so we have right here the Cellfly X minus a piece of the frame because it actually broke. And it broke on the first flight after I switched it from this frame, which broke. Um, this one, to be fair, I hit a metal shelf in a warehouse. I didn't think it was that hard, but it was hard enough. This one, I smacked the light pole, but that's not what messed the frame up. The propeller flew off. And then it fell and hit the ground, and now this happened. So now I'm going to be using a third frame. I'm going to transplant these into a third frame and try not to break that one as well. All right, so this is the brand new frame I'm going to put my stuff into, but look how thin those motor mounts are. It's kind of ridiculous, actually, to think that this is going to hold up in any kind of crash. Look at that. Like, one good bump, and you know that shit's going to break. Same with this. And same with this. So it's like, do I really even want to waste all my time? But I have a temporary solution for that. Walk over here behind the veil. And so on this one, what I've done is taken hot glue and made some protection. Will it work? I don't know. I don't know, but it's worth trying, right? And so now the frame should have a little bit of buffer room before it completely just gives out but I think they need to make these thicker this right here is a little custo build it's the v2.0 crazy bf4 so it doesn't have the plugs that directly plug everything in you got to solder um it's a tbs unified pro nano and this is the antenna right here. It's one of those flat ones. And then, uh, I don't remember what they're called. What the f... Well, whatever. You see it. It's one of these. And, uh, this camera is a Cadex EOS 2. So, this thing's 50 milliwatts. No antenna hanging off the back. But, uh, I don't know. The throttle... I don't know. I'm going to keep flying these. I'll give a review and some footage once I get a little more insight. But if you're trying to put a Cadex EOS 2 in here, all I did was snip the top and snip the bottom so that way I could squeeze the camera in there. And then conveniently it has those two little holes right there. So I just zip tied those and sealed it back up all nice. And now it's in there nice and tight. It's not moving at all. But overall, I'm going to hold off on talking about it. This is my fourth little 65 millimeter build. This is out of the box. This one I have to tune because it's, uh, yeah, it had the happy, it had the Mobula HD set up on it. So whatever, we'll see. All right, peace out. I'm at the shop.